Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. This week we are doing BoxyCharm. Uh, this is May's BoxyCharm. Um, and I'm really just going to dive right into it because it is their birthday month. This month, sorry, I was looking for the card. This is just a little card that you get to let you know what you got, but we disregard this because we don't want to give it away. But I'm sure if you are on Instagram, they always give away hints and then let you know what you're getting. Um, now on this one, it gives me a 20% off cover FX um, with the code BOXY and 15% off pure cosmetics with BOXY MAY. Those will be linked down below. And if you go over to my Instagram, I always have coupon codes on my highlights. Very special box. Because it's their birthday, they actually sent out six products instead of five. And the first thing I see in here is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And this retails for $38. Let's see what kind of this is. Let's take off this little safety seal. Let's see what she looks like. Oh. Can you see this limp noodle? Ugh. Eee. Oh my gosh. This feels a lot like the Hourglass Primer, which y'all know I love. And it kind of matted my skin down. I'm kind of okay with that. This is the Dr. Brandt one that they gave us in a previous box. This one is just a little taller, but you still get the same amount in it. I'm actually really excited to try this. They have sent us cover effects before. They sent us the setting spray in a really big full-size bottle. Um, and now they are sending us the primer, which I cannot wait to try out. I'm sure that this is going to look... This, this is probably going to help my pores more than anything. Thank you. And I see two brushes in here. First in the box is the Aesthetica 3-piece brush set. I could not say that for the life of me. These retail for $45 and they aren't travel size. These are full size brushes. They just come in a little trio set. Let's take them all out of their little packages. So oh, I love eyebrow spoolies. I'm so glad they sent me a new one because mine is kind of old and ratty and I'm sure this one's made a little bit better. They gave you a angled eye brush. I would probably use this for my brows. Uh, it's a little thick for my brows, so I would probably use it for the lid to line my lower lash line. And then they gave you a pointy one for eye shadow and eyeliner, so you can get that perfect wing. We have another Aesthetica's brush in here that retails for $27, and this is a face brush that out looks so beautiful really big very fluffy and not dense at all like it's it's very not dense I don't know what else to say other than it's not dense it's very light it's very open and very not dense I'm probably gonna use this for my powder Ooh, maybe that would be a really nice contour or a powder brush. I like the powder brush better. Next really, really, really exciting thing in here is this Pretty Vulgar The Ink Gel Eyeliner. And this is, this is so heavy. And this is in the shade The Ink, which is Blacklist. Ooh. Liner brush. What do we do with it? So we're gonna take this liner brush and just stick it in there real quick and see what it's, oh wow. Wow. Okay, so it's extremely malleable in there. It's probably just me, and I probably just really suck with gel liners, but that is as good as I can do. Like, this line right here is as thin as I could get it with this brush. Like. Anyways, I will play around with this and tell you guys what I think, but honestly, it looks very matte, very dark black. Actually really liking it if I could just do it. This Pretty Vulgar retails for $24. I'm actually really surprised. This is a ton of product. They say that this, this face brush is $27 
And all of this eyeliner is only 24. If you had $30 to spend, which one would you get? The brush or all of this liner? Make your choice. Leave it in the comments down below. The fifth thing in here is the Han Skin Co Skincare Cosmetics. Uh, and this is a lip gloss from them in a very beautiful shade. I have this is in the color Nude Rose. And if it's a gloss, I'm actually, I'm going to have to take this off and try it. So this lip gloss smells like cookies and it retails for $15. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh my God. That looks so pretty that I'm going to put it on my mouth. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong with the whole world, but we are obsessed with lip glosses right now. I really thought that lip gloss had died in the 2000s, but honestly, it's really making a comeback and it's taking Instagram pictures and videos always looks better with a glossy lip. Let me tell you, yes, some things look good with a matte lip, pop a little gloss on there and you would be surprised. This smells really good and is not sticky. Like my lips are not sticking together. It gave me great color and great coverage. I so let me tell you the tragic story of my poor palette. So this is the Pure Cosmetics Sculptors palette and this retails for $30. So they put these little stickers on the side to seal it together after they packaged it in a billion different things, which cool, you're not trying to break it, I know. Then they safety sealed it, uh, and I hate that. I hate it so much, I peel them off of everything. I hate the look of a safety seal that doesn't come off. It pisses me off bad. So I went to go peel mine off, and I started in the back and it barely came off. And then when I came to the front, I gently tried to pull it off like I had to gently pull off the back and it ripped. The entire palette just took the front of it off. Like what, what happened and why? Why did it have to rip it like that? And usually I rant and I rave about Pure Cosmetics, how great their products are and how like, ooh, how luxurious their packaging is. This is a flop. This, there's like bubbles in the back. Like there's this, this, this big lump in the back. Like, I don't know what that is. The packaging ripped itself and it's, it's just a lot more flimsy than Pure Cosmetics is. Like I have this right here, this packaging right here from Pure Cosmetics. It is so stable. This stays right here in front of me because I love it so much. But this, this makes me so angry. Like I can just bend it like, like, ugh, it's just so fragile and just so underwhelming that I'm pissed off. But I had to try it to make sure that I wasn't just going to bash and bash and bash. It's a great product that's inside the packaging underwhelming the product overwhelming the highlighters are beautiful the contour shades are pretty much for everyone everybody could definitely get some use there's the highlight shades oh my gosh everybody can really get some use out of this palette i use the colors very lightly it's something that you build up but you see how dark these shades go right here like that's, that's for a lot of skin tones, you know? The fact that they build up so easily and you, you know, people with super pale skin can get just a little color on their cheeks and people with extremely dark skin can also get that beautiful color on their skin. So uh, I will rave about the palette and I will rant about the palette, but overall it's really only about the product, but packaging does matter, y'all. Like, it shouldn't, but it does. It doesn't, but it does. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it doesn't matter. Like, the product matters. But then you get it and the packaging isn't good and you're like, 
it kind of matters, but then it doesn't, but then it does. It's just confusing. And for a $30 palette, at least the products are good. At least the products are good. This is May's Boxy Charm, Boxy Bash. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is honestly a joy to do these. I love getting my boxy charm in the mail. So I hope you guys had a lovely time. You can smoke it up, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.